Socotra Arabic, Sukutre Sukutra, also called Socotra, located between the Gardafui Channel and the Arabian Sea, is the largest of four islands of the Socotra archipelago. The territory is located near major shipping routes and is officially part of Yemen, and had long been a subdivision of the Aden Governorate. In 2004, it became attached to the Hadramaut Governorate, which is much closer to the island than Aden although the nearest governorate was the al Mara Governorate. In 2013, the archipelago became its own governorate, the Socotra Governorate. The island of Socotra constitutes around 95% of the landmass of the Socotra archipelago. It lies some 240 kilometers, 150 miles east off the coast of Cape Gardafui and 380 kilometers, 240 miles south of the Arabian Peninsula. The island is very isolated, home to a high number of endemic species. Up to a third of its plant life is endemic. It has been described as the most alien looking place on earth. The island measures 132 kilometers, 82 miles in length and 49.7 kilometers, 30.9 miles in width. Topic: <inaudible> Etymology. <inaudible> 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 In the notes to his translation of the Periplus of the Erythraean Sea, G. W. B. Huntingford remarks that the name Sukhatra is not Greek in origin, but from the Sanskrit Devipa, island, Sukhadhara, supporting, or providing bliss. <laughs> History There was initially an Oldowan lithic culture in Socotra. Oldowan stone tools were found in the area around Hadibo by V. A. Zhukov, a member of the Russian complex expedition in 2008. Socotra appears as Dioscoridu, of the Dioscuri, in the Periplus of the Erythraean Sea, a 1st century AD Greek navigation aid. A recent discovery of texts in several languages, including a wooden tablet in Palmyrene dated to the 3rd century AD, indicate the diverse origins of those who used Socotra as a trading base in antiquity. In 2001, a group of Belgian speleologists of the Socotra Karst project investigated a cave on the island Socotra. There, they came across a large number of inscriptions, drawings, and archaeological objects. Further investigation showed that these had been left by sailors who visited the island between the 1st century BC and the 6th century AD. Most of the texts are written in the Indian Brahmi script, but there are also inscriptions in South Arabian, Ethiopic, Greek, Palmyrene and Bactrian scripts and languages. This corpus of nearly 250 texts and drawings thus constitutes one of the main sources for the investigation of Indian Ocean trade networks in that time period. A local tradition holds that the inhabitants were converted to Christianity by Thomas the Apostle in AD 52. In the 10th century, the Arab geographer Abu Muhammad al Hasan al Hamdani stated that in his time most of the inhabitants were Christians. Socotra is also mentioned in the travels of Marco Polo. Marco Polo did not pass anywhere near the island but recorded a report that the inhabitants are baptized Christians and have an archbishop who, it is further explained, has nothing to do with the Pope in Rome, but is subject to an archbishop who lives at Baghdad. They were Nestorians but also practiced ancient magic rituals despite the warnings of their archbishop. In 1507, a Portuguese fleet commanded by Tristeo da Cunha with Afonso de Albuquerque landed at the then capital of Suq and captured the port after a stiff battle. Their objective was to set a base in a strategic place on the route to India, and to liberate the presumed friendly Christians from Islamic rule. Tomás Fernández started to build a fortress at Suq, the Forte de São Miguel de Socatora. The infertility of the land led to famine and sickness in the garrison, however. Moreover, the lack of a proper harbour for wintering led to the loss of many moored Portuguese ships, the most important of which was the Santo Antonio Galleon under the command of Captain Manuel Pais da Vega. Thus the Portuguese abandoned the island four years later, as it was not advantageous as a base. The islands passed under the control of the Mara Sultans in 1511, and its inhabitants were Islamized during their rule. In 1737, however, Captain de la Garde Jazier, commander of a French naval expedition heading for Mocha, was surprised to find Christian tribes living in the interior of Socotra during a five-week stopover on the island. He reported in a letter home that the tribesmen, due to lack of missionaries, had only retained a faint knowledge of Christianity. 
In 1834, the East India Company, in the expectation that the Mara Sultan of Kishkin and Socotra, who resided at Kishkin on the mainland, would accept an offer to sell the island, stationed a garrison on Socotra. Faced with the unexpected firm refusal of the Sultan to sell, however, as well as the lack of good anchorages for a coaling station to be used by the new steamship line being put into service on the Suez-Bombay route, the British left in 1835. After the capture of Aden in 1839, the British lost all interest in acquiring Socotra. In January 1876, in exchange for a payment of $3,000 and a yearly subsidy, the Sultan pledged himself, his heirs and successors, never to cede, to sell, to mortgage, or otherwise give for occupation, save to the British government, the island of Socotra or any of its dependencies. Additionally, he pledged to give assistance to any European vessel that wrecked on the island and protect the crew, the passengers and the cargo, in exchange for a suitable reward. In April 1886, the British government, concerned about reports that the German Navy had been visiting various ports in the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean for the purpose of securing a naval base, decided to conclude a protectorate treaty with the Sultan in which he promised this time to refrain from entering into any correspondence, agreement, or treaty with any foreign nation or power, except with the knowledge and sanction of the British government, and give immediate notice to the British resident at Aden of any attempt by another power to interfere with Socotra and its dependencies. Apart from those obligations, this preemptive protectorate treaty, designed above all to seal off Socotra from competing colonial powers, left the Sultan in control of the island. In 1897, the P&O ship Aden sank after being wrecked on a reef near Socotra, with the loss of 78 lives. As some of the cargo had been plundered by islanders, the Sultan was reminded of his obligations under the Agreement of 1876. In October 1967, in the wake of the departure of the British from Aden and Southern Arabia, the Mara Sultanate as well as the other states of the former Aden Protectorate were abolished. On 30 November of the same year, Socotra became part of South Yemen. The attitude of the South Yemeni government to the Soviet Union enabled the Soviet Navy to use the archipelago as a supply and supporting base for its operations in the Indian Ocean between 1971 and 1985. Since Yemeni unification in 1990, it has been part of the Republic of Yemen. In 2016 the United Arab Emirates increased supplies delivered to Socotra, which had been largely abandoned and forgotten during the ongoing conflict. In October 2016, the 31st cargo aircraft landed in Socotra Airport containing two tons of aid. At that time, the UAE also established a military base on the island as part of the Saudi led intervention. In 2017, some Yemeni political factions have accused the United Arab Emirates of looting, claiming that Emirati forces had ravaged the flora of the island. On January 29, 2018, the local Southern Transitional Council leadership on the archipelago declared their support for the STC during Hadi infighting in and around Aden. On April 30, 2018, the United Arab Emirates, as part of the ongoing Saudi led intervention in Yemen, landed troops on the island and took control of Socotra airport and seaport. On May 14, 2018, Saudi troops were also deployed on the island and a deal was brokered between the United Arab Emirates and Yemen for a joint military training exercise and the return of administrative control of Socotra airport and seaport under Yemeni control. <laughs> Geography and climate Socotra is one of the most isolated landforms on Earth of continental origin i.e. not of volcanic origin. The archipelago was once part of the supercontinent of Gondwana and detached during the Miocene epoch, in the same set of rifting events that opened the Gulf of Aden to its northwest. The archipelago consists of the main island of Socotra, 3665 square kilometers, 1415 square miles, the three smaller islands of Abd al-Khuri, Samha and Darsa, as well as small rock outcrops like Kal Faran and Sabunia that are uninhabitable by humans but important for seabirds. The main island has three geographical terrains, the narrow coastal plains, a limestone plateau permeated with karstic caves, and the Hajir Mountains. The mountains rise to 1,503 metres 4 feet. The island is about 125 kilometers 78 miles long and 45 kilometers 28 miles north to south. The climate of Socotra is classified in the Köppen climate classification as BWH and BSH, meaning a tropical desert climate and semi-desert climate with a mean annual temperature over 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Yearly rainfall is light, but is fairly spread throughout the year. Due to orographic lift provided by the interior mountains, especially during the northeast monsoon from October to December, the highest inland areas can average as much as 800 mm in per year and receive over 250 mm in per month in November or December. The southwest monsoon season from July to September brings strong winds and high seas. For many centuries, the sailors of Gujarat called the maritime route near Socotra as Sikotro Sin, meaning the Lion of Socotra, that constantly roars referring to the high seas near Socotra. In an extremely unusual occurrence, the western side of Socotra received more than 410 mm of rain from Cyclone Chapala in November 2015. <laughs> Flora and fauna Socotra is considered the jewel of biodiversity in the Arabian Sea. In the 1990s, a team of United Nations biologists conducted a survey of the archipelago's flora and fauna. They counted nearly 700 endemic species, found nowhere else on Earth. Only New Zealand, Hawaii, New Caledonia, and the Galapagos Islands have more impressive numbers. The long geological isolation of the Socotra archipelago and its fierce heat and drought have combined to create a unique and spectacular endemic flora. Botanical field surveys led by the Center for Middle Eastern Plants, part of the Royal Botanic Garden Edinburgh, indicate that 307 out of the 825 plant species on Socotra are endemic, i.e., they are found nowhere else on Earth. The entire flora of the Socotra archipelago has been assessed for the IUCN Red List, with three critically endangered and 27 endangered plant species recognized in 2004. One of the most striking of Socotra's plants is the dragon's blood tree, Dracaena cinnabari, which is a strange-looking umbrella-shaped tree. Its red sap was thought to be the dragon's blood of the ancients, sought after as a dye, and today used as paint and varnish. Also important in ancient times were Socotra's various endemic aloes, used medicinally, and for cosmetics. Other endemic plants include the giant succulent tree Dorstenia gigas, the cucumber tree Dendrositsios socotranus, the rare socotran pomegranate Punica protopunica, aloe peri, and Boswellia socotrana. The island group also has a rich fauna, including several endemic species of birds, such as the Socotra starling, Onocognathus frater, the Socotra sunbird, Nectarinia balfouri, Socotra bunting, Emberiza socotrana, Socotra cysticola, Cysticola hyzatatus, Socotra sparrow, Passer insula. Solaris, Socotra golden winged grosbeak, Rhynchostrutus socotranus, and a species in a monotypic genus, the Socotra warbler. Incana incana. Many of the bird species are endangered by predation by non native feral cats. With only one endemic mammal, six endemic bird species, and no amphibians, reptiles constitute the most relevant Socotran vertebrate fauna with 31 species. If one excludes the two recently introduced species, Hemidactylus robustus and Hemidactylus flaviviridus, all native species are endemic. There is a very high level of endemism at both species, 29 of 31, 94%, and genus levels, 5 of 12, 42%. At the species level, endemicity may be even higher, as phylogenetic studies have uncovered substantial hidden diversity. The reptile species include skinks, legless lizards, and one species of chameleon, Chamaeleo monicus. There are many endemic invertebrates, including several spiders such as the tarantula monocentropus balfouri and three species of freshwater crabs one Socotra and two Socotrapodamon. As with many isolated island systems, bats are the only mammals native to Socotra. In contrast, the coral reefs of Socotra are diverse, with many endemic species. Socotra is also one of the homes of the butterfly bicyclist Eninana. Over the 2,000 years of human settlement on the islands, the environment has slowly but continuously changed, and according to Jonathan Kingdon, the animals and plants that remain represent a degraded fraction of what once existed. The Periplus of the Erythraean Sea says the island had crocodiles and large lizards, and the present reptilian fauna appears to be greatly reduced. Until a few centuries ago, there were rivers and wetlands on the island, greater stocks of the endemic trees, and abundant pasture. The Portuguese recorded the presence of water buffaloes in the early 17th century. Now there are only sand gullies, and many native plants only survive where there is greater moisture or protection from livestock. The remaining Socotra fauna is greatly threatened by goats and other introduced species.
Topic: <laughs> UNESCO recognition. The island was recognized by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization (UNESCO) as a World Natural Heritage Site in July 2008. The European Union has supported such a move, calling on both UNESCO and International Organization of Protecting Environment to classify the island archipelago among the environmental heritages. Demographics Most of the inhabitants are indigenous Sokotri people from Al Mara tribe, who are of southern Arabian descent from Al Mara Governorate, and are said to be especially closely related with the Kara and Mara groups of southern Arabia. There are also a small number of residents of Somali origin. In addition, the island is inhabited by various black African people, who are believed to be descendants of runaway slaves. Almost all inhabitants of Socotra, numbering about 145,000, live on the homonymous main island of the archipelago. The principal city, Hadibu, with a population of 8,545 at the census of 2004, the second largest town, Kalansia, population 3,862, and Kod, Yub, population 929, are all located on the north coast of the island of Socotra. Only about 450 people live on Abd al Khuri and 100 on Samha. The island of Darsa and the islets of the archipelago are uninhabited. The Semitic language Sokotri, spoken originally only in Socotra by Al Mara people, is related to such other modern South Arabian languages on the Arabian mainland as Mary, Harsusi, Bathari, Sheri, and Habiat. Religion The islanders followed indigenous religions until 52 AD, when, according to local beliefs, Thomas the Apostle was shipwrecked there on his way to evangelize India. He then supposedly constructed a church out of his ship's wreckage and baptized many Socotrans. After this, Christianity became the main religion of the island. They followed Nestorius, the Catholic Archbishop of Constantinople, who was later excommunicated for heresies. The Socotrans remained loyal to his teachings and joined the Assyrian Church. During the 10th century, Arab geographer Abu Muhammad al-Hassan al-Hamdani recorded during his visits that most of the islanders were Christian. Explorer Marco Polo wrote in his travelogue, I give you my word that the people of this island are the most expert enchanters in the world. It is true that the archbishop does not approve of these enchantments and rebukes them for the practice. But this has no effect, because they say that their forefathers did these things of old. Christianity in Socotra went into decline when the Mara Sultanate took power in the 16th century and became mostly Muslim by the time the Portuguese arrived later that century. An 1884 edition of Nature, a science journal, writes that the disappearance of Christian churches and monuments can be accounted for by a Wahhabi excursion to the island in 1800. Today the only remnants of Christianity are some cross engravings from the 1st century AD, a few Christian tombs, and some church ruins. Topic. Genetics The majority of male residents on Socotra are reported to be in the J** subclade of Y-DNA haplogroup J. Several of the female lineages on the island, notably those in MT-DNA haplogroup N, are found nowhere else on Earth. Topic. Administrative divisions The archipelago previously formed two districts of the Hadramat Governorate. The district of Hadibu, Hadib with a population of 32,285 and a district seat at Hadibu, consists of the eastern two-thirds of the main island of Socotra. The district of Kalansia Wa Abid al Khuri, Kulnsai Wibidi al Khuri with a population of 10,557 and a district seat at Kalansia, consists of the minor islands of the archipelago the island of Abid al Khuri chief among them and the western third of the main island. In 2013, however, the archipelago was removed from the Hadramat Governorate and created a governorate, Socotra governorate in its own right, consisting of the two above mentioned districts. Economy The primary occupations of the people of Socotra have traditionally been fishing, animal husbandry, and the cultivation of dates. 
Monsoons long made the archipelago inaccessible from June to September each year. In July 1999, however, a new airport opened Socotra to the outside world all year round. There is regular service to and from Aden and Sana'a. All scheduled commercial flights make a technical stop at Rian Mukala Airport. Socotra Airport is located about 12 kilometers (7.5 miles) west of the main city, Hadibu, and close to the third largest town in the archipelago, Kad Yub. Diesel generators make electricity widely available in Socotra. A paved road runs along the north shore from Kalansia to Hadibu and then to the Dahamri area, and another paved road, from the northern coast to the southern through the Diksam Plateau. The former capital is located to the east of Hadibu. A small Yemeni army barracks lies at the western end of Hadibu, and the former president of Yemen, Ali Abdullah Saleh, had a residence there. According to 2012 and 2014 sources analyzed by the American Enterprise Institute's Critical Threats Project, a naval infantry brigade was stationed on Socotra at the time. Some residents raise cattle and goats. The chief export products of the island are dates, ghee, tobacco, and fish. At the end of the 1990s, a United Nations development program was launched with the aim of providing a close survey of the island of Socotra. The project called Socotra Governance and Biodiversity Project have listed following goals from 2009 Local governance support Development and implementation of mainstreaming tools Strengthening non-governmental organizations' advocacy Direction of biodiversity conservation benefits to the local people Support to the fisheries sector and training of professionals in February 2014, The Economist magazine reported that Socotra was being considered as a possible site for the Yemeni jihadist rehabilitation program. Topic: <laughs> Transport. Public transport on Socotra is limited to a few minibuses. Car hire usually means hiring a 4WD car with driver. Transport is a delicate matter on Socotra because, as much as modern transportation has its advantages, road construction has been considered detrimental to the island and its ecosystem. The most harm is being done by chemical pollution from road construction and road provoked habitat fragmentation. For more eco friendly alternatives, companies have started offering bicycle and enduro motorcycle tours on Socotra. The only port on Socotra is 5 km miles east of Hadibu. Ships connect the port with the Yemeni coastal city of Mukalla. According to information from the ports, the journey takes two to three days and the service is used mostly for cargo. Yemenia and Felix Airways flew from Socotra Airport to Sana'a and Aden via Rian Airport. As of March 2015, due to ongoing civil war involving Saudi Arabia's Air Force all flights to and from Socotra have been cancelled, however, during the deployment of Emirati troops and aid to the island, multiple flight connections were made between Abu Dhabi and Hadibu as part of Emirati effort to provide Socotra residents with access to free healthcare and provide work opportunities. Tourism The airport for Socotra was established in 1999. Prior to this modest airport, the island could only be reached by a cargo ship. The ideal time to visit Socotra is from October to April. The remaining months usually entertain heavy monsoon rainfall, making it difficult to survive the weather for tourists. Flights also usually get cancelled. The island lacks any well-established hotels, although there are a few guest houses for the travelers to stay during their short visits. Due to the Yemeni civil war that started in 2015, the tourism to Socotra Island has been affected. The island received over 1,000 tourists each year until 2014. Gallery Other sites <laughs>